India has vast water resources in forms of sea, rivers, lakes, reservoirs and ponds. So, with the FAO assistance to its seven bungalows campus Andheri, Mumbai was established in the year 1961. The institute moved to its seven bungalows campus Andheri. Finally, CIFE was accorded the status of deemed to be university in March 1989. Today, this institute is among the top deemed universities of the country. Recently, Dundon Committee has ranked CIFE as one of the best deemed universities of the country as bright spot. The institute offers master's programs in 11 disciplines and doctoral program in 10 disciplines with an intake capacity of 69 and 39 candidates respectively every year. Besides this, the need-based certificates, programs, diploma courses and short-term training programs are also offered to the entrepreneurs, officers of fisheries departments and private candidates. Over the last five decades, the CAFE has uh, rendered immense service to the cause of uh, fisheries education, higher education in fisheries in this country, manpower development in uh, various subsectors of fisheries, not only in this country but uh, various other developing countries also in the developing, developed world. I must say destination of every aspiring fisheries graduate is the Central Institute of Fisheries Education. major objectives of CIFE is to serve as a repository of information on HRD in fisheries including database on available manpower resources and other aspects of fisheries to produce postgraduate professionals in fisheries through introduction of specialized courses in emerging areas of fisheries science to undertake research in frontier areas of fisheries science and develop user-friendly technology packages to serve as a center of excellence for advanced studies in frontier areas of fisheries science, to serve as a national facility for collaborative R&D efforts in fisheries, to gear up its TOT programs to cater to the needs of fish farmers and fishermen, to serve as an apex institution for national level policy formulation on fisheries. Convocation Admission. The admission of MFSC is based on all India competition conducted by ICAR, while PhD admission is conducted by CIFE Mumbai. Foreign students also get admission in this institute from Laos, Vietnam, Sri Lanka, and African countries. The classrooms are equipped with modern gadgets like computers, smart boards, etc and central video conferencing facility. The institute has two training come research vessels namely MFV Saraswati and MFV Narmada for training and research in marine fisheries. The institute has the best library in fisheries in the country. It has 25,000 books, 12,000 bound journals and periodicals, 1300 masters and doctoral thesis. CIFE teaches students on fisheries resource management. Under fisheries resource management, the institute is engaged in studies on biodiversity, stock assessment, fishery biology, mangrove vegetation and algal flora. The institute is one of the leaders in designing a prawn hatchery. CIFE has standardized giant freshwater prawn hatchery technology after trials in different agroclimatic conditions. In inland areas where healthy sea water is not available, technique of using artificial sea is also standardized by CIFE. The institute has successfully developed hatchery in Tripura, Nagaland and Madhya Pradesh. 
CIFA also leads in cage culture and participative management of reservoirs. In the last decade, the institute has developed and demonstrated cage aquaculture technology for raising fingerlings in the open water bodies of different agroclimatic conditions like Valvan Lake Lonavala, Pobai Lake Mumbai, Halali Reservoir Madhya Pradesh, Gobin Sagar Himachal Pradesh, and lakes and reservoirs in Udaipur and Chhattisgarh. Reservoir development program through community participation was initiated and developed in the Dimbe Reservoir in Pune district of Maharashtra. Extraordinary performance of goldfish has been observed in cage aquaculture at Dimbe Reservoir developed for women empowerment. Ornamental fish culture is major strength of this institute. As a part of mega seed project for quality seed production of ornamental fishes, a hatchery has been established with indoor breeding and outdoor rearing facility. Live feed forms the basis of larval rearing. The algal culture is involved in standardize and produce live feed for different types of fishes. The genetics group is involved in genetic improvement programs of P. monoton, M. rosenbergi and carp species by evaluating their potential for different economic traits. Modern genetic tools such as molecular marker, DNA barcoding etc. are used to characterize various stocks for cataloging, identification and their conservation. The biotechnology group is engaged in the research of fluorescent zebra fish biosensors for monitoring aquatic pollutants like heavy metals. The group is also involved in the quest for novel genes from marine tiger shrimp Pinnies monoton associated with salinity tolerance and silencing of viral genes using RNAi technology. Recently, the group has also initiated the work on nanotechnology for improving the techniques of induces breeding for quality seed production through nano delivery systems. Nutrition play a key role in aquaculture and CIFE has worked for development of low cost feed by utilizing the unconventional feed ingredients is the major focus. Preparation of granulated feed for larval feeding is the major challenge for enhancing the survival rate during early phase of rearing. For successful seed production and rearing for different aquatic organisms, understanding the physiology is necessary. Its well-equipped laboratory has been set up to carry out basic and applied research to understand the physiological and biochemical processes in fish and shellfishes at cellular levels. Different growth regulating genes have been characterized during different phases of life cycle. Apart from nutrition, physiology and culture of fish, fish health also affects the production of fish. Aquatic Animal Health section of CIFE is focusing its attention to study the various aspects of infectious diseases of finfish and shellfish. This lab is developing monoclonal antibody-based diagnostic test for fresh water prawn for catching different types and sizes of fish different types of fishing boats and nets are used various nutritious products using low-cost fishes have been prepared by post harvest laboratory of CIFE fish munch is the extruded product developed by the post harvest department of the Institute Rohu in curry packed in Retortable pouch is the recent product introduced by Post Harvest Division. Fish and prawn pickle in small pouches have been introduced long back in Post Harvest Department. Centers of CIFE are the wonders of CIFE. Saline water availability is increasing at the alarming rate in the country. Resources of inland origin could also be used for aquaculture purpose. This center mainly aims to promote saline aquaculture in such degraded soils. Rotak center has both freshwater and brackish water ponds. This center is supplying freshwater prawn seed to northwestern states of India like Haryana, Rajasthan, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, etc. under ICAR Mega Seed Project. 
the center is culturing tiger shrimp in high saline area of the farm under niche area of excellence project. This center got a bilateral research project for developing aquaculture in degraded inland areas in India and Australia between Australian Centre for International Agricultural Research ACIAR, and the Indian Council of Agricultural Research. Our production of pea monotone culture matches with coastal area culture with 1640 kg per hectare which is a record culture in inland saline condition. The center activity was on the achievements of ICAR. Kolkata Center of CIFE, established in the year 1947, is mostly devoted towards HRD of fisheries officials. This center is providing diploma and certificates to the aspirants of its professional development program and entrepreneurship development program. CIFE has signed an MOU with Ram Krishna Ashram Krishi Vigyan Kendra Nimpet for collaborative work for utilizing the farm infrastructure for training, demonstration and conducting field level research. The center is also working on feeds to improve the color of ornamental fishes. Breeding techniques of ornamental fish is also standardized. The Institute Kolkata Center has developed slow sinking pelleted feed Mass-scale seed production of the Magur under control condition is being achieved by the division. The Institute Center of Kakinada has played an important role in bringing the blue revolution in Andhra Pradesh. Because of this center, today Andhra farmers are able to sell fishes to many parts of the country. It has also played immense role in training many students from different states. The Institute has separate farm at Balbhadrapuram. It is a leader in mass-scale breeding of Magur in the country. This center also is experimenting with many species. It also provides seeds to the needy farmers. Pavar Kheda Center CIFE, was developed in 1982 in Madhya Pradesh state to develop commercial hatchery. Initially, D81 and later D85 hatcheries were established. This center is also producing freshwater prawn seeds through artificial sea water. The center is conducting many training and extension programs. CIFE has made a mark in the field of teaching, research and extension of knowledge in fisheries not only in India but in the entire world. But considering the vast untapped water resources of India, it is just a beginning. The focus of the 12th plan is on different sectors, diversification of species, molecular diagnostics, transgenic fish, DNA barcoding, especially of the ornamental species, development of ornamental fisheries, and then uh, management of the West Coast fisheries. These are some of the areas which we are trying to address in the 12th plan. The institute has a very bright future. Fisheries as such is a growing sector, the sunrise sector. So our focus will be on to develop international linkages with leading international universities and leading national institutional organizations, have guest faculty, visiting professors. There are some of the innovative programs which we envisage for the 12th plan. When land purpose is decreasing, prosperity lies in managing the water, aquatic animals and plants. More and more people have to learn to fish and fish to earn. Fisheries education leads to that prosperity. So, we believe more and more people will adventure into the amazing world of fisheries education.